Hey guys, welcome back to another Pokemon Platinum video. In this episode, we're actually going to be out of the third gym leader in this episode. Which actually in Pokemon Diamond Pool, it's actually the fifth gym leader. While in Platinum, it's third. It's the third gym leader. Because they kind of switched it up in Platinum. And I, I, don't, I just don't know why they decided to do that. Like, you know, like how in Diamond Pool, it's the fifth. But in here's third. I, I think I do like it better being the third than the fifth. Because it's next to you actually at, but I guess how it, that's how it is. How's it going, champ to be? This gym is some kind of wicked, wicked about it. I'll tell you, first it's a pitch black. Oh, no worries though, I have a flashlight right here for you. Also, there's an unusual gym trainer that they have flashlights too. If you ca cast light on one or, or they catch you in the light, the battle on! Oh, now this is really important. It's about the tiles on the floor. First, find the one blue tile in the room and memorize the mark on it. Next, head to the red door with the same mark on it. Adv advance through the correct red doors to reach the gym leader. If you choose a wrong red door, you'll get sent back here, though. That's how the place is go a game camp champ to be. So now we're actually going to go up here and battling Gym Leader Fatina, Certified Trainers, or Wowl James, obviously. So all the times it always says that for Wowl, but, but yeah, this is kind of a, a maze. And and like I said, the guy, if the guys catch me flat, we battle them, but I'm going to battle them anyway. So yeah. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> uh, I'm kidding. But anyway, bam, this gym leader is, I think, dark type gym? Well, it might be ghost. I, th oh, I think I think it's dark type, if I remember correctly. I, I believe it's dark. I, 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 I guess, I mean, it, this is ghost. That is ghost, I think, ghost type. It might be ghost. Huh. Thinking. Okay, that's a dog move, and that's a, I mean that's ghost type though, so it might be. I don't th I don't think it's ghost though. I think it's dark type. I always get confused because some of these Pokemon in here are ghost type Pokemon, and also as well as dark. So I think it's dark type Pokemon, not ghost. I might be wrong, but actually I can I can look it up for you in one minute. But yeah, I, at least I think it's dark type. Well, I hope I'm right. I hope I am. And we just have to go through this maze and find the the switch. And here's another guy, gym leader. I mean, not gym leader, gym trainer. Jeez. All right. I'm <laughs> kidding. And Saint Youngster and Saint like Gasly. It might be. Um. Might be ghost because those last two sent out ghost type. Is ghost type? Hmm. For some reason I thought I was thinking dark type. I don't know why. Um. It's just the Pokemon that Gym Leader has, maybe. Yeah, it's ghost type. I don't know why I was thinking dark type. It's ghost type. I mean, the thing is confusing sometimes between ghost and dark type sometimes. Cause I know, cause of the, cause I know. I mean, I mean of the Pokemon that sent out so those first two Pokemon, the list, the first tri one for this guy and the last one he sent out was ghost type. So like, is it ghost? I know dark super fun against ghost. So I guess I just kind of forgot. Last. It's ghost type. I should I should I should have known that, but it's ghost type. Ghost type. Ah, <laughs> uh, and I don't want to learn war on my next yo war. I don't like those moves that do like static those status moves or whatever. And see those red doors. We had to find the blue one. The blue one looks like it's over there. 
So but we go through here because we can see it from there. Do -do 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 -do. And there's that guy. Are you lost? Are you enjoying yourself? Yes, I am. Thanks for asking. This is our school kid chance. Which since I was a ghastly! Slay. <laughs> Which, I mean, I'm not a big fan of ghost type Pokemon that much. I mean, I have used, I guess, dark type before. Like, I know I love Oberon, but that's dark type, not ghost type, so. Weird thing, I mean, I guess the weird thing is. The weird thing is they have, like, dark and then, and as well as ghost type, though. I mean, that's why I thought it was, like, dark type when I was, like, is that dark type or ghost type? But it's actually ghost type. So it's just a level. Well, but anyway, yeah. But I just gained some experience from just battling all these trainers. I just gained a bunch of experience, which helps me level up. I love the music in the one games. I love the gym leader music. I love it. Uh, and just moving. Oh, another guy. Yeah. Turn by a train, guess Yes, Lake, yes, Lake, yes, Lake, yes, Lake. Oh, yeah, no. No, I keep saying yes, Lake all the time. But, yeah. I mean, I think what my favorite ghost. Also, question of the day. When, I mean, I don't do this all. I mean, I only do this sometimes, question of the day. But, question of the day is what is your favorite ghost type Pokemon in the Pokemon series? Ghost type. I mean, I, do, I, mean, there's, I don't think there's that many. Actually, the legendary ghost type, Garotina, is legendary. So the mascot for Pokemon Platinum is actually a ghost type Pokemon. Report ghost type, at least. Yep, and it can and those fly. It can and can fly around, which is pretty awesome. Garotina is a pretty cool legendary Pokemon, though. This finishes finishes off, the, I guess, the trio. <laughs> trio. Come back and look see up because you're about to think. This is my mom. Burn Get Rakina. It's a legendary Pokemon. Ghost and Dragon type, okay? Because it looks like a dragon. Ghost and Dra Garotina is a ghost dragon type. Obviously, first appearance of Pokemon Diamond Pole because, you know, that's when fourth generation started and this is a fourth generation Pokemon. Which, because you guys can find Garotina in Pokemon Diamond Pole, but. At least in this game, they added like a story element to it. Because in Diamond Pearl, they just had like Dialga if they if you played Diamond and Palkia if you played um, Pearl. But if you play Platinum, we have all three in the story, which, which is awesome. Which we which we go through Mount Cornet later on though in the game. It won't be until like after I beat the seventh gym leader. <laughs> well, actually, well, we will go through Mount Cornet. Watch out, we take we already went to the Mount uh, Cornet, but well, part of Mount Cornet, tiny bit of it. But when we actually go through like a good amount of Mount Cornet and everything, and actually travel to like Spirit Pillar, I believe it is in this game. Spirit, yeah, Spirit Pillar is where you actually um catch Dialga and Palkia, and but you actually catch Giratina Distortion World. Later on, I'm not spoiling everything for people who haven't played this game, but I mean, this game is let's see, seven years old now. So if you haven't played it, well, I mean, I mean, I know I'm spoiling it for people who watch Let's Plays or people who watch Let's Plays so if they're stuck on something. I know I'm spoiling, or I'm still spoiling the story because they just want to see what the story is like and stuff. But I'm not spoiling it too much. I think I'm spoiling it that much, but. Yeah, I just know you battled the evil team there. One of the last things where you battle and distortion world about Garatina. And they actually battle Dog and Palkia, or actually you can catch them, all three of them, but after you beat the post game in this game. Why in Diamond Pole you catch Dialga there when the story happens, as well as Palkia, but in Paul Old Palkia, Diamond Dialga. But in this game you battle Garatina in the distortion world. And then you later on after you beat the post game the Dialga and Palkia 
or a lot higher level than they were in Dino Pool. Cause I believe, I believe that um, Giratina's probably the it's probably more about the same level. If, I think it might be actually two levels higher than um the than the Diamond Pearl Diamond Pokey and the Alga the Giratina is and the distort when when you catch G Giratina the distortion will in this game. But yeah, just me talking about the game. <laughs> Talking about the game, and we got another trainer, trainer Catherine. Sends out a hunter, hunter. I love the music. Uh, I love. I just. I love gym. I love the gym theme music. Not the gym. Like I. I mean, I do like the gym battle music, but like. The actual theme when you just walk in and, and stuff like that. It's, it's pretty catchy to watch, especially in the older games. I love the music. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like uh, Mistrevis. Well, speaking of Mistrevis, I remember um, when Chuck Conroy did his um, Pokemon called Sim. Let's play a long. That was a long time ago. That was like. He was, oh, how long ago was his Pokemon called Sim? Two, three years ago, maybe? Any longer than that? Well, let's see. I believe. I believe he did. Did he. Do, I know he did. Um, actually, it's probably longer than that. That might have been XD. That was two or three years ago. It might have been like four years. So, cause I think, call, yeah, cause he did um, Xenoblade Chronicles after he did, after he did um, call after he did XD, didn't he? Like, Xenoblade, I think it was he did call, Sugar Con War. Try to remember, was it? Try to remember what he did. God, like shooting a bunch of stuff up in this episode for you guys, but yeah, but yeah. Hold on. Cause I know he's doing um I know he's doing his um Lu Luigi's Mansion let's play right now. So yeah, what what was Coliseum? Coliseum. Cause he did platinum he did platinum before I think his current one. Yeah. He did platinum last time, but he did XD and actually he did he actually did XD a while back. So I know he did XD and Coliseum a while back. Actually, no. Wait, 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 Yeah. Yeah, he did XD before, right before getting a blade. And then he had Ammo Crossing, Sonic Colors, and Kid Eclipse Uprising, Super Mario 64, The Legend of Zelda, Link Awakening, all before Coliseum. Yeah, Coliseum was a long time ago then. Let's see what. I guess. His, wow, 2013 says. The first episode was January 18th of 2013 for Coliseum. And, and that ended for him. Well, the bonus episode, the final bonus episode was April. Uh, April that year, huh? Bonus. Fi I guess the final was in. The final episode was in March, but he finished the actual last play with the bonus episodes in April, it says. So it's until 13. Wow. I knew, I knew what his, um, I guess I should know because his, um, because his, um, I guess, Xenoblade Chronicles, like, took him a year to complete. How many episodes of that? Oh, there's, like, over 100. I think 100 was actually the final, speaking of which, when he did, like, I, 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 should, I, should know, I actually didn't watch that, but I haven't seen Chuck Hunter in a long time, but I'm still subscribed to I mean, sometimes I can't watch him. Yeah, last episode was episode, I guess, 18 or 17? Okay, yeah, it might be episode 17. Cause I know they have they showed an episode. It might be episode 17 then. This is the last episode, but yeah, June 3rd, 2015 is was his last episode for Junior Play Chronicles. So by the way, I'm battling Junior Play. By the way, too, but while I'm doing this, and his first let his first let's play. I mean, not his first let's play. His first episode of Junior Blade was was. June 14th, 2014. So, yeah. Yeah, that's a long time for a Let's Play. I mean, 
he did, it is he's gonna blade after all so yeah almost a year almost a year between when he started it and finished it it's like my last play he's a uh, it's like my Mario Kart last play of course I took like a three month break doing that but still <laughs> and also he has also clap collab collab collaboration let's plays on on the one way guys channel that he does with other let's players uh, he has a old Pokemon video coverage that I guess when he first started well, on YouTube it says <laughs> interesting interesting yeah yeah he did that in 2008 the old Pokemon coverage I guess that he did when I guess Platinum was really new I don't think he did an actual let's play though. It doesn't, look, it doesn't look like an actual let's play. I think he just showed different battles and stuff like that. Because this is an actual let's play, what I'm doing. And he, because he did an actual let's play later on, Platinum, like I said. Like just, just like just recently. Before. That was his last play. Because Pokemon Platinum was his last let's play before his Lu Luigi's Mansion let's play. But yeah. So yeah, I've been talking about all different. Le these let's players. Oh, well, that Let's Play guy, but, you know. He's really big now, though. He's a very famous U Let's Player or YouTuber. Check out Conroy. And I guess th this lady sends out... The last Pokemon he sends out was Haunter. Haunter! Man, I hope my Sly 3 doesn't take like a year. I don't think so. I'm almost done with that game. Just haven't been up for that often. I should have just gotten a new job recently, so... That's why I've only been up, gonna, been uploading Platinum. <laughs> well, past few videos I've been uploading Platinum at least. Cause I was gonna do every other one, but I just got a job the other day and stuff, and I haven't been to the like. And my parents are divorced and so all that and everything, so I've been at my mom's like almost the whole time. Cause that's where my school is, and that's where I've been working and stuff, like in the same town. Even though it's only like 20 or 30 minutes away, my where my dad lives, which where my video games are that well my console video games my PC I take both places because it's laptop which is hand which is really handy and put one platinum to record on my laptop but I still I mean I can still edit slide 3 I just have to record a bunch ahead of time and I get, and also I just started so my, I just started working and so and they don't have me on the schedule yet and so I just come in whenever they tell me to come in really I guess for the first week or so so that's why I haven't that so I mean these videos will like come out I guess when I and when I'm able free time. So that's why there's probably a lot more platinum right now. I mean I bet when I get actually a schedule set of when I might be able to upload more more slide than more of this. I mean, it's kinda hard during the school year and plus the working. So I mean I probably could have I probably could have uploaded more slide if it wasn't for school. And work definitely, but if I just work, it would I probably could able to. That's a uh, or just school. I see if I'm just in school, it would be able to probably do better just because of the schedule. Because I go to school in the morning, I'm working in the afternoon, and just I think it would be better if went if I like I guess went to school in the morning and then get off. Make <laughs> videos. Yeah, we just got a gym badge from Patina, which is awesome! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Talk about learning defog. And actually, we learned a TM65. 65. <gasps> 65. The TM65 contains Shadow Claw. The very starting move it is, it, it hits turn critical often. Nice. And sorry for some of the dialogue that I haven't been talking, just me talking, me just blabbing on about Let's Plays or other YouTuber Let's Plays plus mine. Cause like, I, I noticed I have done some Let's Plays of, uh, um, of Ch that Chick Conroy did. That I also did now. I'm also now just by training. Oh, Koba, you're beating the gym leader. There seems to be no t end to how tough you are getting. At least that's how I see it. You do realize that I say that to everyone, right? <laughs> Wow, nice. Ba -ba 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 -ba. But, anyway, but yeah, anyway, we're actually gonna go back to the Pokemon Center. There's actually a few trainers up here that we can battle right, the, right here because there's like the news guy right there, so yeah. 
But you know what I find it interesting though? Like, a lot, some videos have like, two videos in a row, which is which like, five, like, ten seconds of each other. Like, like, say for example, I, re I posted a video that was like, 23 minutes long. Then I posted another video that was 22 minutes and 50 seconds long. Or, and then another one that's like, 22 min minutes and like, 58 seconds or something like that. I noticed that I had like, I, cause I noticed a lot I have two episodes, or two videos in a row that, a lot of times have like very close timing on it. Just how I guess just how it works out when editing sometimes. I mean, the intro wouldn't really matter that much if I unless I mean sometimes it changes if I like create a new intro or or if if I forget the intro. I mean, I think I don't I haven't really. I I think the last time I did forget the intro was that I think the third episode of Slide Three. So and I had the and had this intro since. Episode one of Slide Three, so yeah, I'll probably will have the I'll probably have the intro for a while. Probably will have the intro for a few more let's plays. Uh, I'm thinking I'm th I'm just thinking when I will like have this let's play is gonna end. Um, well these two let's plays I guess, just because of school and work probably it will be a while until I finish any either of these two, but. That's just how Let's Play is, and I believe I can't believe that like we battle all these guys right here. Like some of these are just one to battle or what, but they just do. And I believe this guy has a um, Mind Junior, I think it's called Mind Mind Mime Junior. Mind? <laughs> I said Mind. I meant Mime Junior, but yeah, Mr. Mind is the is the I guess the other one. The weird thing is, it's not like Mr. Mime Jr. is my pre-evolution. I believe this is a whole different Pokemon, which is find it interesting that Mime Jr. is not a pre-evolution, despite it's supposed to be. I guess I mean it doesn't evolve. I guess I guess. Well, I just kind of find it strange though that some Pokemon actually don't evolve into that Pokemon. I just just I guess just how it is and stuff. How they decide to I guess divide the Pokemon and everything that. They don't make my junior a pre-evolution, or Mr. Mind being an evolution to Mind Junior, but it's just how it is. Oh god, that does pretty good damage, but at least I have like you know quick attack, which helps. If I mean, Soria should have pretty good speed because it's bird type, and bird type usually has a lot faster, you know, faster hit and stuff. So there's that. But anyway, actually, um, this is probably gonna be the end of this let's this not let's play this episode of Pokemon Platinum. In the next episode, we're actually gonna head up north to the next city, which is gonna be the fourth gym, which is gonna be a fighting gym. We, which won't be doing in the next episode, but we'll do it pretty soon. So yeah, and this has been Green Cobra's Gaming, and have a nice day, everyone. Bye.